Today, we are going to be a flute out of polymer clay. So a lot of you guys may be wondering, how do you know so much about flutes? How do you know how a flute works? How do you know how to make one? Well, the answer is my sister plays flute two years ago. So I know exactly how a flute works. The flute comes in three pieces. As you can see, the front end and this should be the middle end. And they piece together like this. And then you have to attach the back end. Just blow it. It doesn't make a sound. So you have to blow it in some way to make the flute sound like this. Almost got it. See, that's what we're going to make out of polymer clay today, and it's going to work because I said so. Yep. So the first thing we have to do is open this box. We are going to be using white clay. I'm changing my mind. We're making a piccolo today. The flute is too long. I don't think I know how to do that. I'll put the clay here. That is very loud. So now I'm going to take the tin foil, and then we're going to roll it into like a sausage so we can wrap clay around it. I'm assuming it's this long. So now we're gonna take some white clay and I'm gonna wrap the entire thing with clay. Okay, so we have our clay. You know, the most important part we have to get is just the mouth hole. That is my only goal today. So first we have to get this into a very flat piece of clay. get bigger let me see if it's big enough I think it is so I'm gonna roll it just a little bit more just to be safe something I realized is that I don't really see probably big polymer clay artists or at least in my recommended all I have are the makeup artist drama maybe because I actually watch it speaking of drama I don't really want to be one of those accounts that participates in drama I would never start drama I just I just like to do my work just create your content, do your work. So, as like 10 of you guys may know, university ended for me. As you guys know, I am also starting to make pins and I also want to make phone grips. I want to make plushes. I just want to make so many things and I'm so excited for that because yeah, this feels smooth. I wish my skin could feel this smooth. Now, I'm gonna take this pizza cutter and I'm gonna make straight edges this way and this way. Oh, you guys can't see this side. Too bad. Now I have to do this side. I have my almost rectangle, and then now I will wrap it around the tin foil that I made earlier. Wrapping it around. Don't wrap it too tightly because you want to be able to take out the tin foil at the end. I am going to trim off the excess and try to connect the two pieces. This is really satisfying. It's like pizza. So it's wrapped around my tin foil. Now I will smooth the area where the two ends meet. And it won't be perfect because it just won't. You know, if this actually works, I'll be so surprised. I'll be so proud of myself. I'm gonna actually get my sister to try to blow it. We got a solid tube. What we have is a tube. I look at my picture of my piccolo again. Now we are gonna start making the details. Oh, by the way, the buttons are gonna be fake. I can't make functioning buttons, I'm sorry. So we have a little mouthpiece that wraps around 75% of the circumference of the flute. We will cut a circle. You know, this is not the world's most perfect oval, but actually just the thought that counts. And we think that this is an oval, so it is an oval. So here is our mouthpiece. I think it looks pretty good, if I say so myself. And this way. And that is the mouthpiece. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to hand cut the hole. As we said, just the thought that counts. If you just really think hard, create a hole, it's, it's there. You just think that it's perfect, it will be. Perfect hole. I think it's pretty good. Look at how deep it is. It is so deep. We have our band. Always make sure that you want the ends to meet at the back of the flute so the nice part is on the outside and no one can see how much you messed up on the back. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. For Piccolo, there was like a tube, a tiny tube like on the side where all the buttons connect to. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a long cylinder and stick it to the side of the flute. So here's our side cylinder. So for every button, there is a line that connects the button to the side cylinder. We're gonna make seven buttons because seven is my lucky number. We have seven little circles. We're gonna press them each down. They don't have to be perfect. 
because it's the thought that counts. So we're gonna use this large dotting tool to make concave imprints that the buttons have because that's what I saw in the picture. Here are my seven buttons. So there are seven. Oh wait, there's a golf club looking button on the side. That'll be our eighth button. So we're gonna add on our seven button. It works. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it's something. The last thing we have to do is make a golf club button. This looks like a wooden spoon right here. And then right here, it looks pretty good. This looks exquisite. Picasso could never. I'm gonna go bake this and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna paint it and glaze it. Hello everyone. We got our fruit back from the oven. Um, I accidentally kind of burned it a little. It is really hot. I should have let it cool. I can't even set it down because it's just going to burn my table. I already took it out of the tin foil. So beautiful. Here's the burn part. As we said, everything that's messed up goes on the back because only the front matters. So now we are going to paint this and hopefully it'll cover some of this burnt stuff. You're going to take a little bit of white. Okay. So we're going to take some charcoal gray. A little bit. Shoot. We're going to have to... Here we have our colors, and now I will pour UV resin. Ooh. Now we're gonna take spoon and we're gonna mix it. It's like so much thicker than UV resin. I love it. It's so mesmerizing. I like to overdo things. Better to have more than have less, you know? Look how much we have. And it's so satisfying. It's like I'm mixing like unicorn poop. I don't guess it's not poop because it's not solid, so like unicorn tire. Don't you guys wanna eat it? Oh, just kidding, don't eat that. The fumes are strong. So, I have my light right, right here. And as always, if you're doing this, make sure to wear gloves. UV light is very harmful to your skin. I'm only not doing it to preserve the aesthetic, you know? When I'm actually working, I wear gloves. So, we have our large tube. We're gonna start painting it. This actually looks really nice. If I do say so myself. Little, oh, I'm in your video. Hi. You have a giant pineapple on your head. Do you know what someone said? What? <laughs> I was like, I have really nice hair. They're like, yeah, not with that croissant on your head. <laughs> okay, so we finished our flute. It is nicely glazed. I don't know if you guys can, can see the sparkly aspect of it, but it's like very sparkly. It is time for us to test out if this really worked. Does it work? I think I'm gonna ask my sister to try to blow this because she's better at blowing. Jane! No, it doesn't. How are the holes? No, it doesn't work. But it's pretty impressive, right? Right? Well, even though it doesn't work, I would say I did a pretty good job. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did. Turn the like button blue, subscribe button gray. I also have an Instagram and TikTok and a Patreon. So check them out in the description if you want to. That is all I have to say. Have a great day. Goodbye.